Well, good evening, club members and visitors, and welcome. I see we have some people from England joining us tonight. This is the second of our Zoom club meetings. It looks like there will be need to many to be many more before we're allowed to meet safely as at our usual venue. Tonight, I'd like to welcome Heinz Streaker, who represents Revelation Acoustics, the Bentley agent in Cape Town. I will deliver his illustrated talk and then we'll have a, a short interval. For the first part of the meeting, all the microphones except Heinz will be muted. You can ask a question by either typing out a chat to everyone or else to press and hold your space bar and speak. Following the interval, all microphones will be live and you can ask any questions you like. I would suggest you choose speaker view for the first part of the meeting and gallery view afterwards. So from now on, it's over to Hein. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Chris. Uh, good evening, everyone. I uh, trust that you can hear me um, loud and clear. It's, uh, it's a pretty bleak um, day today in Cape Town. We've, uh, we've already had almost 40 millimeters of rain here in the northern suburbs. So um, winter is uh, well and truly here. Um, I wanted to thank the, uh, the Cape Town Hi-Fi Club um, for affording me this opportunity. The original plan was to, uh, to come to one of the, uh, the meetings and uh, bring a, a couple of sets of uh, the Bentley speakers with. And uh, you know, everyone can, uh, can see and feel the speakers and we can uh, compare the, uh, the different models to one another. But unfortunately, uh, the COVID virus had other plans. And um, I think this is the best that we will be able to do for a while now, as Chris has mentioned. So um, what I thought I would do is, um, you know, uh, just share some of the background in terms of, of Bentley um, speakers. Um, firstly, start off with who I am and, um, you know, why I am presenting to you tonight. And then, um, you know, just take you through the, the design process and show you what Bentley Acoustics has to offer uh, from a speaker range perspective, as well as what the future holds for, uh, for the brand. So uh, I trust you can all see my, um, my screen. Let me just see if I can navigate to the next slide. Okay, so um, as Chris has mentioned, uh, my name's Hein. I've been a music um, uh, aficionado for the past 25 odd years. And um, I've, uh, during that 25 years, I've had the opportunity of going through multiple systems. I think as most of, uh, of uh, uh, audiophiles have, we, uh, we do like to chop and change. So um, I had the opportunity of um, creating two dedicated listening spaces in my house. So my, uh, on the slide, you can see on the right hand side, that's my uh, dedicated two channel stereo system, which is the Vivid Audio um, B1 Decades. And I drive that with a Debian Lay 440. And um, I'm, uh, I'm quite satisfied with the, uh, with the sound that I get there. And then, um, you know, I also love movies and um, I had a spare garage at my house. And I converted that spare uh, garage into a, a Dolby Atmos cinema. So um, I started off, uh, you know, that cinema, and it took me about two or three years to put that together. And um, I had a set of um, a full set of Tannoy um, speakers in there. And um, I uh, I had a painter uh, come and paint the room, and uh, an unfortunate incident happened between the painter and one of the Tannoy speaker tweeters. So um, I was looking for a replacement tweeter, which I could not find. And um, it forced me to start looking at, um, at different speakers. Now I'm, a, I'm an avid follower of the AV forums in South Africa, and I've been following the development of the Bentley speakers um, since, uh, since it started. And, um, I was having a look at some of the competitors' uh, prices, specifically um, uh, BMW as well as um, as the KEF ranges, and it was astonishing just to see how expensive um, entry-level speakers are. And um, I took a chance 
and um, I bought a, a full set of Bentley speakers unheard because I couldn't find a place in, in Cape Town where I could actually sit down in a, a, a home theater environment and listen to both, um, you know, the, the speakers uh, from a home theater perspective as well as a stereo perspective. So I took a chance, speakers came down, I was pretty impressed with um, the quality, the build quality, I hooked it up and I was actually quite taken aback by the, uh, the, the, the level of, um, or the sound quality that the speakers generated. So, um, you know, I think because the forum, AV Forums is a place uh, for sharing, I uh, took a, a couple of, uh, of minutes and I, I wrote a, a review on the forum. And I said, you know, I'm, uh, I'm pretty impressed if I compare these speakers to the BMW CM range that I had, as well as the Tannoy range that I had before. I think the value for money is uh, astonishing. So um, after I wrote the, um, the, the review, um, I got a WhatsApp uh, from Vaughn Bentley, uh, the, the gentleman that's um, responsible for manufacturing these. And, you know, he said, look, you know, we don't know one another. And he wanted to thank me for, uh, for posting, a, you know, taking the time to post the review on the forum. So I responded and I said, you know, um, I'm, I'm very satisfied with the speakers, but I do believe that, you know, I think the speakers deserve um, to have uh, people uh, be given the opportunity of demoing the speakers in a, a dedicated listening environment. Um, specifically, I think, um, you know, the, uh, there's, a, there's a, a big gap in the market in terms of affordable um, home theater uh, speakers that's, um, you know, that's got a dedicated um, three-way um, center speaker. Um, you know, so um, we, we started chatting and, you know, I, I sent him a couple of questions and he responded and, you know, one day he sent me a, a, a WhatsApp and he said, look, you know, you're so interested in the speakers and, you know, the questions that you've asked me uh, are all quite valid. Um, can I, I've got a couple of potential um, clients who would like to demo the speakers. Would you mind if they come over and... Uh, you know, um, listen to your system. And I said, by all means, and I think it, it developed from there up until the point where I said, look, you know, I'm happy to, to open up my house and, um, you know, whoever wants to come and listen to the speakers, um, you know, they're more than welcome to, uh, to come and do that. So um, I, uh, I took some time just to come up with a, with a name for, uh, for my establishment. It took me all of uh, three seconds to do so. And, um, you know, I think um, that is, uh, that's the history. So um, I've, uh, I've invested a little bit of money in, in getting stock. So I've got the full range of, of Bentley speakers available um, for demo. And um, I'll show you uh, which are my favorites. So I think this is a, an open and honest discussion. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take you through the range. I will, I've listened to them all. I've set the, all of them up. Um, I use them both in my own cinema. Um, I've got the, the small ones connected to my, uh, my computer as well. So I do use it for computer audio. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll check you through that. Um, and uh, you can ask me questions afterwards. Okay, is that okay? Right. So um, uh, just a little bit about the history. So, so Vaughn Bentley is, um, is quite an interesting gentleman. He's, uh, his, his main occupation is in, in IT and technology. So um, he's got uh, a dealership up in Johannesburg that um, specifically um, imports and distributes um, uh, uh, technology, specifically computer um, equipment. And, uh, you know, he told me that he's a, uh, He's been an, a hi-fi aficionado since 1994. And um, he also started a, uh, a business out of, his, um, out of his house where he sells um, speakers. And he got to a point where, you know, he had clients come in and they listened to entry-level speakers and they walked away and they said, look, you know, we sorry, we just cannot afford this. So um, in January 2017, he decided that uh, you know, he wants to do something about it. 
Um, we've got a couple of, of um, South African um, hi-fi manufacturers that manufactures, I think, some of the best equipment in the world. Uh, you know, we've got uh, lines with these turntables and uh, we've got Valve Audio and um, we've got Philip Gutentag with, uh, with Vivid um, Audio, which I'm very fond of. And, um, you know, he said if, uh, if, if, if uh, they can do it, um, he wants to give it a shot as well. So um, he teamed up with uh, Rudy Marloth, uh, who's uh, also on the forum. Um, uh, and you may know him by uh, by the name of Gecko. So what they said is they said that, look, one of the issues that they see in what is available out in the market is that um, for a speaker company to have multiple ranges of speakers, the entry-level speakers are always the, the black sheep because the company cannot make those entry-level speakers too good so that it competes with the uh, the upper range, because um, you know then uh, they will obviously lose sales of the middle of the range um, speakers. So um, you know there's always a little bit of, of compromise um, in terms of that. And um, Vaughn actually compared that to uh, you know BMW. You know, BMW can't have their three one eight perform the same as an M three, because then no one will buy the M three. So what they did is they set out to design the best affordable range of speakers that they could. So uh, the way that they went about it is that um, they, um, they bought a set of each of what they considered to be the uh, most popular and best entry level speakers um, available in South Africa. And um, I've got them all there on the screen. So um, it's ranges from uh, from Clip, Kef, Polk, BMW, Monitor Audio, Yamo, and Dali. And they actually dismantled all of these speakers. And uh, they tested the drivers. Um, they uh, they tested the various uh, the performance of all of these speakers. And uh, the challenge that they set for themselves was to develop something that they feel um, outperforms all of these speakers at a more competitive price. Um, so the, uh, the process um, started and they started looking for uh, components um, to be able to develop um, these speakers. So um, they ended up with um, tweeters that is a uh, supplied by um, uh, uh, Timfany. Now, uh, uh, Timfany is a, a, a Hong Kong based company. The, the original um, company started in, in Denmark and then um, uh, way back, so the design started in Denmark and that was then bought over by a Hong Kong based um, company and it's one of the biggest um, driver manufacturers in the world. And they ended up with a, a one inch um, silk dome tweeter and in terms of the the base drivers um, they decided on um, a base driver a, a, a aluminum magnesium driver manufactured by Swans now Swans interestingly enough is a Canadian company um, and uh, they were a couple of years ago they were taken over bought over by a, a holding company called HiVi. They're actually based in California. So all of the research and development is done in California. And then the production facility is, um, is also in, um, in, uh, in Hong Kong. So um, they, uh, they decided on, on these components and um, really uh, developed the, the crossover from scratch. And there were various iterations of these speakers. Um, you know, at the end of the day, they uh, decided to uh, to build um, the the actual housing. Um, it's made from uh, 16 millimeter um, uh, HFM um, components. Um, all of the bracing, all of the dampening inside is is all locally sourced, and the manufacturing facility for that um, is in uh, in Johannesburg. Um, and um, I think that then developed the 100 range of speakers. So, um, you know, initially there were only uh, uh, two models. 
and um, you know that expanded to what you can see there now. It's a it's eleven different um, speakers within the one hundred series. So um, I'll talk you through right from the uh, well. Let's start from the left. Um, there's the the FC one hundred series. So as you may know, and I think that there was quite a a lengthy discussion about this topic on the forum a while ago in terms of, um, you know, why are all of the speaker manufacturers these days, even the guys that traditionally are, um, are hi-fi speaker manufacturers, why are they all manufacturing center speakers? And, um, you know, I think the uh, at the end of the day, the, the answer to that question is that, um, uh, home theater has just, um, you know, taken off. Um, stereo um, has always been quite a niche market and all of the manufacturers have, um, have seen a gap in the market because the demand is there. So the FC100 right on the, the far left is the entry level um, center speaker. Then next to that, we've got the FC150. Um, which is a, a full three range um, center speaker. It's quite a substantial um, speaker. The FR80 is um, the, um, the entry level bookshelf speaker. Um, the FR100 is prob probably at this point in time the, the best seller out of the entire Bentley range. It's a 32 centimeter bookshelf speaker. And if you just um, look at, your, uh, at me there, I've actually brought one of the speakers with me. So uh, that's the closest that I will be able to, under the, uh, the lockdown, be able to share you or show you the speaker. It's a, a pretty substantial um, speaker for, for a bookshelf. You can see the, uh, the salt dome tweeter and the, uh, the copper colored um, uh, uh, um, aluminum magnesium um, driver. And then at the, at the back there, you've got a set of, um, of um, binding posts. Um, so uh, um, the FR100, as I've mentioned, that's um, uh, you know, uh, the best seller at this point in time. And then there are three different um, floor standards. Uh, if all three of them are full three-way um, models, uh, there's the FS110. Uh, uh, the FS120 and the FS150. And then, because Dolby Atmos has taken off, there was a need in the market for, for Atmos speakers or effect speakers. So um, those are small um, speakers that you can either mount to a ceiling or mount right up top against the ceiling for effects. Um, and for that, um, uh, Bentley came up with a, a, a small set of speakers called the FR50. And those are actually the ones that um, I use with my computer. And I've connected that up to a NAD D3020, which is a, an integrated device from NAD, built in DAC um, and a 30 watt uh, per channel um, amplifier. And the sound that you get out of that is, um, is pretty amazing for uh, you know a centi uh, for a speaker that's about 14 centimeters high and then there are also two different um in ceiling speakers there's a, a six inch and an eight inch um, in ceiling um, speaker so um so that was the 100 series um i think that um you know sales took off um it surpassed everyone's um, expectations um I think generally people were, were quite pleased with the value for money that they got out of that. And then, um, you know, people started asking Vaughan, so, you know, how do we move up? What's next? And to answer that, um, uh, Vaughan and uh, Rudy came up with a, a set of, of, um, of speakers or a range of speakers that they call the 200 series. And um, I'll share a little bit about that now. Um, and um, the, the owners of the 200 series then um, asked, in typical audiophile fashion, asked Vaughan, so, you know, what's after the 200 series? Where do, do I upgrade from here? And that has um, kind of uh, um, 
you put the ball rolling to develop a, a high-end set of speakers that will be called the 300 um, series. Um, the design, you can see the mock-up of the design there. Um, the plan is that um, they will um, compete from a looks perspective with uh, a Sonus Faber type speaker, um, all wooden enclosures. Um, the, um, currently, the, the development is, 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 is uh, um, in progress, and um, uh, Vaughan and, and Rudy are um, looking at the various options in terms of the, the drivers um, that can be used for that. So um, if we just run through, I said I'll, I'll, I'll share with you some of my, um, my favorites from the 100 series. I think that, you know, that really is the bread and butter at this point in time for, for Bentley. Um, from a, a price perspective, all consumers always want a bargain. They want value for money. And I think that's exactly what the 100 series um, allows. So as I've mentioned, the, the FR100 is a 32 centimeter high speaker. Um, and it's got the, the one inch salt down tweeter and a, and a five inch aluminum magnesium base driver. All of the speakers are six ohm and they, uh, they basically all have 89 dB sensitivity or thereabouts. So they're very easy to drive. Then my personal favorite is the FS120. Um, it really is a, a speaker, I think, that'll be able to satisfy 80% of the, uh, the, the audio files out there. Um, it's got the same um, sound characteristics that the, the 100 has, um, but it's got a little bit more punch in um, the bass. Uh, it's a meter high, so um, you know, it's, it's easy um, to put in a lounge. And it's got the same um, tweeter and um, mid-range driver that the 100 series has, but it also has two six-inch uh, base drivers uh, to that. And then lastly, we've got the big boy. Um, these speakers have taken a few people back that have come to listen to them in my demo room. Uh, they're 1.2 meters high. And um, my, uh, my home cinema room is four meters by three meters and they literally tower um, in that room of mine. So um, you need a lot of space to be able to accommodate these speakers. Uh, you will see that they've got two eight inch base drivers and um, you know, in a, in a, um, in a stereo um, use, there's no need to um, to add any uh, subwoofer to this. And even in home cinema, those um, if you use a, a set of these, those four eight inch uh, base drivers, um, they can uh, make quite uh, a lot of noise. So they they are indeed substantial speakers. And then um, you know the uh, the center uh, the main center um, speaker is the the FC one hundred and fifty. It's again it's a very very substantial speaker. Um, and, um, you know, if I compare this to the tannoy um, that I had, um, the, I think the naturalness in, in voices, specifically um, male voices, where, you know, you need a, a speaker that has a little bit of, um, of, of depth um, if you've got a deep male voice, uh, is what, what stood out for me. And, um, you know, if I compare this to the, the BMW, the CM um, uh, 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 center channel speaker that I had before that, uh, which retails for almost four times the price of this, I think it's amazing what was accomplished, um, you know, in the creation of the speaker. So, um, you know, together they, uh, you know, the, the range makes quite a formidable um, home theater um, solution. Then in terms of, of finish, um, it kind of started off, I think the, the speaker started off like Henry Ford started with his Model T Ford where, you know, you can ask for any color as long as it's black. So um, the, uh, the speakers originally came in a, in a black uh, vinyl and you could choose between a, a white or a black um, baffle. Um, and due to popular demand, um, a lot of people asked for, for custom vinyl wraps. 
and you can see that there are now five different colors uh, to choose from. Um, and these are then manufactured um, on demand. So if you wanted to, uh, to blend in better in your um, interior and your wife doesn't like the, uh, the black oak finish, um, then you can um, pick one of those colors um, at the bottom there. Then just to, um, to talk a little bit about the 200 series, um, they are they're more expensive, obviously, than the 100 series. And I think that, you know, they compete um, pretty well with, uh, with mid-range speakers from most of the other marquees. Um, they use completely different drivers. Um, both the, the tweeter as well as the woofers um, come from Denmark. Um, it's manufactured by SB Acoustics. And they, uh, you know, some of the uh, most well-known driver manufacturers. Um, currently, the, um, the 200 series are available in black, as you see it there. So it's a gloss piano gloss black, as well as a piano gloss white. And um, my comments to Vaughan about that was to say that it looks a little bit utilitarian. So, um, you know, the black on black is a, is a little bit dead. So um, I phoned Vaughan last week to ask him whether he's taken my comments seriously. Um, and he indicated that he did. So, you know, once the, the factory opens up after COVID, um, they will also start looking at, um, you know, um, having the speakers um, in, in wood veneer. And um, I'm quite uh, keen to see, you know, what that will look like. If you, um, my, big, my big concern with, uh, with gloss black speakers is that, um, you know, you can use the best, um, uh, 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 duco or paint, uh, but um, you also you always have an issue with uh, with fine scratches, and um, if you use them in a dark room with a projector, um, you've got glare of the uh, the glossy speakers. So um, it's not always the best choice um, in a in a dark room with a with a projector. So um, I've already placed my order for the first set of. Um, uh, veneered speakers that will um, be available and um, I will then also make those available for demo um, down here in Cape Town. And um, I think uh, Chris, um, that's basically uh, you know what I wanted to uh, to chat about and, 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 and just share with uh, the Cape Town Hi-Fi Club. So um, I'm happy to uh, to take any questions. Well, the first question, of course, is is about uh, prices, please. Yes. What? Yes. Prices, what? Start off with the series one. What price? Okay. Are so let me uh, let me go back. So um, what I will do is that um, I will let's go back there. Okay. So I've got the price list here. I'll uh, I'll share with you the the retail prices. And um, you will be able to negotiate, uh, I think, at least a 15% discount on that. Um, you know, depending on the model that you buy, the discount can be, uh, can be more. So um, I, will, uh, I will share with you the, the retail price. And I think then also the price that, um, you know, they sell for um, uh, uh, including the discount. So let's start with a, with a big FS150s. So, um, they are now, after the uh, 2020 price increase, they uh, 21,000 rand. And, um, you know, if you, if you calculate um, uh, a discount on top of that, a 20% discount on top of that, you're probably looking at about, I would say about 17,000 rand for um, a set of those. I mean, it's very substantial speakers. Uh, the FS 120s, they are now sixteen triple nine, um, and um, they will sell um, in the region of about fourteen thousand rand. Uh, the FS 110s, they are eleven triple nine, and um, you're looking at uh, probably about nine thousand rand for a set of those. 
Um, the FA, FR120 is they are full retail price of 6,200. So you're probably looking at about 5,000 rand for a set of those. So I think 5,000 rand for um, you know a very very good set of um, of brand new um, bookshelves is um, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um, currently, as it stands, um, the uh, the speakers all carry a two year warranty. Um, Vaughan um, uh, 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 has indicated that he's considering increasing that to five years. And I think if you can pick up a brand new set of, of bookshelves for 5,000 Rand with a five year warranty, that's a pretty uh, good deal. The FR80, which really is a, a surround speaker, and it's, it's been voiced as a surround speaker as well. Um, they are 2,500 Rand, so um, you're probably looking at about. I would say um, about 1,800 rand for them. Um, the FC 150, it's also 6,200 rand, the center speaker. So um, um, you can factor in the 20% the discount then, you get to the same type of price as the FR 100. And then the FC 100, um, that's 2,600 rand. So you're also looking at the top end of probably about 1,900 rand that you will be able to uh, walk away with a brand new set there. So um, I think um, those are the individual prices. If you buy it as a home cinema set, there's an additional discount on that. Um, and um, uh, Vaughan has um, put together various packages, um, you know, depending on the, the speakers that, um, that you want. Um, just to give you an example, so the, the big FS 150s, so those are the ones on the far right, together with a set of FR100 for surrounds and the FC150, full retail price of that is 31,000 Rand. So if you factor in 20% discount on that, that's a lot of speaker for uh, not, much, uh, not much money. So um, they're easy to drive. You can, uh, you know, you can drive them um, to uh, a pretty high volumes with, uh, you know, even entry level um, uh, AVRs. Um, I've, uh, I've had them at the end of a, of a Denon uh, 4300. So if you guys um, follow um, the, uh, the forum, you will see there that um, I uh, swapped out my Denon for the new NAT T778. Um, because in my opinion, um, you know, using a, a um, an AVR for uh, for stereo music is is just just not acceptable. So um, I uh, I bought the 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 NAT T seven seven eight specifically to to demo um, these speakers for um, for stereo, and um, I must say that they sound absolutely amazing. I had the FR one hundred uh, connected to the NAT. Um, in my lounge, and I compared them to the uh, the DVLA and the Vivid audios, and I must say that um, you know you can definitely see the uh, the effect of uh, um, what is it diminishing um, returns on uh, yeah, in the Hi-Fi um, market. So if you take a, a set of FR 100s and you uh, you add a, a NAD or a Rotel integrated amplifier, you've got a very, very good system um, that will make very good music. So, um, yeah, so that's the, the 100 series. If I, um, if I quickly go to the 200 series, there are only three models there. Um, there's the floor standards, the, the, uh, they call the FS250. Uh, they're 29,000 Rand. Um, obviously, you can also factor in about a 20% discount um, on that. Um, the, um, the bookshelves, uh, they are called the FR200. Um, they're a little bit um, larger than the FR100, so um, they're about 40 centimeters high, so it's a more substantial bookshelf speaker. They're 11,000 Rand, also factor in the, the discount. And then the three-way center is called the FC250, that's 9,000 um, Rand. 
Um, as, I've, as I've said, um, you know, if you compare the 100 series to the 200 series, um, there's a definite benefit in um, moving to more expensive um, components, uh, you know, better drivers. Um, but the, uh, I think the jump is, is minimal and the market that the 100 series is, is aimed at is, you know, I think competing with uh, speakers like the, uh, the BMW 6 series, um, the monitor audio bronze speakers. I think those are probably the, the two top selling entry level speakers um, in South Africa. Um, and um, the range has been developed with, uh, you know, with, uh, with those speakers in mind to be able to compete with them. Okay, thank you. Any other questions from anybody else? Uh, Joshua, are you there? So I'm listening. Good evening. Do you want to have a break or should we? I think we should carry on. It's only just on, it's just gone eight. So it's not quite bedtime yet. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I've always heard positive comments about these speakers. So it will be quite nice to listen to them. Yeah, well, so, um, that's what we all want, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I think um, I've, I've extended my, my invitation on the forum um, before and, uh, you know, everyone is welcome, uh, you know, with lockdown, I'm uh, working from home, I, uh, I'm a full-time uh, accountant, so uh, I'm working from home, so, uh, you know, I'm available in the day and then, um, you know, I'm available all weekend, so you can just send me a um, a PM on the forum or an email and um, you know you're more than welcome to, to come over so you know I think from a, from a demo perspective what I can offer is obviously um, all of the speakers um, uh, uh, connected to the NAB and um, you know what I've done with some of the uh, my other clients is I've sat them down with the DVLA and the Vivid Audios and um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a digital music um, supporter so um, I, uh, I use Rune um, as my, my main music um, server software. And um, with the, the DVLA as well as the, the NAD um, amplifier, both of them are certified Rune endpoints. So you've got the same source um, and the same music that plays and it's possible for you to swap between the NAD driving the Bentleys and the DLA driving the Vivid Audios, listen to the same um, song, um, you know, and um, be able to, to determine, you know, um, whether, whether the, uh, the, 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 the price difference is, is worth it, um, as well as swap between the various um, um, Bentley speakers. Then, as I've mentioned, I've also got the small FR 50s connected um, to, um, to the NAD D3020 from a computer audio perspective. Um, I bought the, 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 the NAD, um, I bought it second hand for about 3,000 Rand. The, um, the Bentley FR 50s, they are, they are uh, about about 1,300 rand for a set. So for just over 4,000 rand, you know, you've got a, a pretty good um, computer-based audio system um, to use. Um, and um, if, you, uh, if you want to game with it and you want a little bit of additional bass, then um, you can always add a, uh, a Yamo um, subwoofer to that. For about 2,000 and more and um, I think that'll keep most uh, computer gamers um, happy. So uh, yeah, so, so I think I've got you know different um, different setups and, and different components. I also have a NAD D320 that um, I can use um, and uh, I hook that up uh, to the Bentley um, speaker. So you know there's a, there's a little bit for everyone um, I think if you uh, if you want to sit down and um, and test the speakers and um, and listen uh, to see if uh, you like the sound signature, they are I think they are on the on the warm and smooth side of the music spectrum, 
So they, they generally pair quite well with, uh, with entry level um, uh, uh, components that um, I think that has a slightly uh, more forward um, balance um, uh, to, uh, to the sound um, to them. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think that sums it up. I got a question. There's a fellow from Carrie's PC World in England watching today. Yes. He's asking yes. three questions. Are they, are they made in South Africa? These speakers? Y yes. And secondly, do you have an agent in the United Kingdom yet? Okay, so, uh, so first question, yes, they're manufactured in, um, in South Africa. So um, the, the crossovers as well as the, the cabinets are all made here in South Africa. Um, the, the, the drivers are imported, as I've mentioned. Um, um, so uh, the production facilities are, um, are in, um, in Johannesburg. And um, as far as I know, there's no agent in uh, overseas or in England specifically. So uh, I think that's a very interesting question. It's definitely something that I will pass on to, uh, to Vaughan as well. So, uh, you know, I think with, uh, with the hand where it stands um, compared to, um, you know, international um, currencies, um, if you export these um, to a place like the UK, you can land them there for very little money. And as I've mentioned, you know, my personal opinion is that they compete very, very favorably with uh, some, uh, some pretty um, uh, good um, uh, speakers. And then the last question was, the ones that sell the most, how many units per month do you produce? Sure. Um, that is a, is that's something that I will not, that I cannot um, uh, uh, answer. I don't know the answer to that. Um, I will have to, um, I will have to ask um, Vaughan that. So, um, um, Chris, if you don't, you've got my email address, do you? Yeah. So um, you uh, are more than welcome to share that with, uh, um, okay. I'm presuming it's a gentleman um, from the UK yeah. and he can get in contact with me and I can actually put him in contact with, uh, mm -hmm. with Vaughan um, and Vaughan can share the, uh, the production um, information. He tells um, me about 90% of their stuff comes from China now. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, so uh, it used to come from China. But they're running out of stock now. <laughs> yes, yeah, I think that um, you know, with the with the land where it was, um, at one point um, yeah, in April, we uh, actually I think it was the beginning of May, we we touched twenty rand to the US dollar, mm, and um, I was getting as a as a fi financial person, um, I was I was getting quite uh, concerned there. Um, because uh, you know the value of the rand um, plummeted, and uh, you know we've got lots of uh, of foreign um, suppliers that needs to be paid. Um, you know in the business that I am in, so uh, I'm glad to see that that has eased back a little bit. And we were trading at about um, sixteen rand fifty um, when I uh, I checked last this afternoon, and um, I've read a couple of um, economists' forecasts. Um, my personal opinion is that um, it's easier to predict the weather than what it is to predict um, the, the rand. Yeah. But um, some of the guys have predicted that it's going to come down to around 15 rand 50. Oh. So it's not something that we are doing well. I think it's, um, you know, America is seeing a little bit of turmoil and it's actually due to the, uh, it's actually due to uh, the weakness of the US dollar. So, um, uh, you know, if you uh, if you want to uh, make a little bit of money uh, from forex, then um, you know if it hits fifteen rand fifty, make sure that you buy some dollars, uh, which you can convert um, at a later stage back to rand, and you can make uh, enough money to buy yourself a set of Bentley speakers. <laughs> Lovely stuff. <laughs> well, of course, our government helps it along admirably, don't they? Say again, Chris. I said the government helps our exchange rate along admirably. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You yes. can always rely on yeah. them, you know? Yeah. 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 So, um, yes, no, I'm, 
I'm quite keen. I, I, I think, you know, um, depending on what's going to happen with COVID, once we get to a point where, um, you know, we can all meet in person, um, you know, I'll be very happy to uh, bring a few sets of, of Bentley speakers. I'll bring uh, the 100 and the 200 series along to the to a um, an upcoming um, Cape Town Hi-Fi Club meeting. Mm. And, um, you know, you can... Uh, I can even bring the uh, uh, the NAD amp um, along um, uh, from an amplification uh, for amplification purposes, and um, you know we can spend an hour. And, you know we can move between the different speakers, okay. and you can see if it's a sound signature that um, that you enjoy. Fine. Thank you very much. A quick question. <clears throat> Can one uh, order a customized speaker, say for example, where you, use, you if you want from an whole internal wiring or a particular type of capacitor, uh, and you can have a bit of an upmarket version of a successful speaker? Yes, uh, you yes you can. Um, they can be custom manufactured. I've got a, I've got a uh, in my demo room. I've got a set that. Um, that Vaughan made that has a carbon fiber baffle um, at the front. That's actually, if I um, let me just see if I can scroll down to that last, I took a photo of that. There you can see that's the center speaker. Um, that's my center speaker. That's a photo that I took. And you can see that front baffle is a, is a carbon fiber baffle. So um, there were only four of those um, made. It was a special request to Vaughan. Um, and um, I've also had, um, you know, one of the, uh, the gentlemen mentioned that um, he was in contact with Rudy and they changing some of the resistors on the, um, the crossover, specifically um, to tweak the, um, the, the tweeter. So um, you can definitely um, uh, put through a, a custom order and, um, you know, both from an internal um, component as well as uh, an external um, cabinet um, perspective. Uh, they can be custom made for you. Even if you want a different color hat from those, fo those five um, different versions that I've showed you, um, it can be done. You know, you can also, if you prefer something that is painted that doesn't have a, a hat, um, that can be done as well. Thank you. Okay. I do think the, the, the selling from home uh, methodology is how you guys are going to survive economically in what's happening at the moment. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look, I think I think I think the 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 advantage is that uh, you know this this is obviously a a, a project that was born out of a you know passion for for speakers and um, you know the, the the drive to put something on the South African market that's you know that's affordable and that can compete um, very well with the imported product. So you know this is, is as I've mentioned um, at the start, this is not Vaughan's main bread and butter. Um, you know this is a is a second business that he opened up and you know he's obviously invested quite a bit of, of time and money um, in this and um, you know if I look at if I look at the sales I was I was quite astounded you know I mean um, if if I uh, if I look at how um, um, specifically dedicated audio shops are battling to survive um, you know, I think the, the, the sale of Bentley speakers um, surpassed all expectations. Now, um, I'm a, and, and one of the reasons why, you know, I, I agreed with Vaughan that, um, uh, you know, I will be the, the agent in Cape Town and, um, you know, open up my, uh, my house to, um, to demos is that, you know, um, as much as I love online shopping and, you know, buying things from Take A Lot, you know, one of the things that you don't really want to buy without seeing and listening to what you get is a, you know, set of speakers, especially if you buy something new. So, um, you know, I think it's important and, and I encourage all of the people who contact me, I said, look, you know, drive up to Durbanville. Um, I love red wine. So there's always an open bottle of, of red wine. 
Um, and, um, you know, at least I can make a decent cup of coffee as well. If you don't want wine, come and sit here. And, um, you know, I will play you music and I will play you movies and you can look at the speakers and you can listen to them. And if you don't like them, you know, then you buy something else. Um, and, um, you know, I don't think that the speakers were made to, uh, to, to, to fit into everyone's um, uh, 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 wish list or, you know, the sound signature. It's obviously, you know, as, as was said many times before, um, you know, audio equipment and sound signatures is very personal. Um, some people like a, a mellow sound. That's why there's a lot of people who love valves. Some people like, um, you know, something as myself that, that's, that has got a cleaner, you know, and a more neutral sound. So um, I think the Bentley speakers has a very specific sound signature. And, um, you know, I think that um, uh, people must listen and, um, and see if it, uh, if it fits in with, uh, with their, uh, their needs. That sounds logical to me. Yeah, I think so as well. Any other questions, gents? So, I, don't know. Uh, I, I just think I take my hat off for anybody in the audio business in the present economic climate. Uh, it's something that it takes a special person. Yeah, yeah, I think, I, I think so. You know, I mean, um, um, <laughs> I think that, uh, you know, if you, if you love what you do, um, then um, it makes work a little bit easier. And, uh, you know, I think if you, if you like people, obviously, if you want to, I think if you want to be a salesman, you must like people and you must, um, you know, like to interact with people. And, um, you know, uh, selling speakers, I think is, um, is or hi-fi equipment is uh, you know quite a a, a a complex task because um, you know you must be able to um, to listen to what people um, uh, want and need and be able to offer them um, you know something um, like that. I've been um, I've been toying with the idea of you know buying. Uh, an entry level set of, of monitor audio speakers as well as BMW speakers and um, you know having um, uh, or affording um, uh, uh, people the um, the opportunity of actually comparing BMW to monitor audio to Bentley you know so um, at this point in time I can uh, from a, 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 a sales perspective I can offer um, any of those speakers if um, one of the uh, um, my clients want it, but obviously, you know, I think the the the, uh, the main push is um, for Bentley um, speakers and specifically to introduce that um, uh, into the Cape Town market. So um, what I've also done is I've had people who come on a on a Sunday afternoon, and um, you know they walk out here at 5 p.m. And um, they've just listened to, uh, to the speakers and um, they're very keen to go and connect them up at home. And then they discover that they need speaker cable, or they need banana plugs. And they're very disappointed if they have to go um, home and they have to wait for uh, Monday morning for some of the shops to open up so, so that they can buy certain necessities. So, you know, what I've made sure of is that um, I also keep all of that in stock. So... Um, I've, uh, I've shared that on the forum as well, you know, so if you wake up um, on a Sunday afternoon after your Sunday uh, nap and uh, you want to rearrange your entire hi-fi and you're looking for banana plugs or anything like that, um, I've got all of that available and you're more than welcome to just drive past and come and collect. It doesn't matter what time it is on a, on a Sunday afternoon. On a practical level, how do you secure your own safety with against possible contamination of COVID in your home? Well, um, at this point in time, it's, it's obviously, uh, it is obviously quite difficult. So my wife is a pharmacist. So uh, I've been uh, living and breathing COVID for the last two months. 
So uh, you know uh, we've got a uh, we've got a uh, an unlimited supply of hand sanitizer, and um, I also have an unlimited supply of facial masks here, unused facial masks. So um, uh, it is obviously something that we need to uh, to consider, but um, uh, uh, you know, it's. Uh, I guess we just need to live with it. So um, you know, I'm willing to uh, to take the uh, the chance if uh, if a customer wants to come um, over and he wears a, a face mask and um, you know we can sanitize um, his hands. So um, you know, I make sure that uh, my listening area is um, sterilized and clean. So uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a good question. Um, I'm not sure how long COVID is going to be here. Uh, they say, uh, you know, we'll probably only um, see that the, the virus loses its potency by the back end of 2021. Now, um, I can tell you a couple of, 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 of horror stories in terms of, um, you know, um, COVID testing and how those tests work. Um, but I think I will I will bore you with uh, with uh, with those stories. Um, but be it as it may, it is um, it is something that is here to stay. And I think um, you know something that is very very relevant. And you know what my wife is seeing in her occupation as well is that there's more and more people who are asymptomatic. So people test positive, although they don't have any. Um, uh, um, of the uh, the symptoms, so uh, you know. I mean, you can stand next to someone that you think is perfectly healthy, and um, you know, then they carry it of the virus. So um, it's interesting times. There's one way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gents. I think that was very good, uh, Hein. And yeah, the thank slides, you. The slides were very, very good indeed. So it yeah, shows exactly what's, uh, what's on offer. The, you know, uh, the, the, the other, uh, the, the other um, offer that I have, and um, you know, I've offered this to, uh, to several of my clients as well, is you know, um, if you want to take a set of the, uh, the speakers home and uh, you, you're not a crook, um, you are more than welcome to come in and collect them and, you know, use them for a week and listen to them in your own um, setup and see whether you like them, you know. So uh, I've got, uh, I've got as, a, as a matter of fact, I actually have three sets of, uh, of the bookshelves that are demo bookshelves. So, um, you know, they're all boxed up so you can come in and fetch them and, you know, use them for a week and bring them back and see how it sounds in your own um, setup. That's... That is actually, uh, you know, what I recommend to people. Take your time, you know, set it up at home, um, listen to them, and, um, uh, 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 you know, give them a little bit of time in your, in your own environment. It's, uh, it's very different uh, listening in someone else's home than what it is listening um, to speakers in your, your own home and with your own equipment. So, yeah, there we go. Right. You can... Uh, you can come and fetch these and listen to them, Chris. Lovely. <laughs> okay, thank I know, I'm surprised that you haven't tried your speakers with the valve amplification. Yeah, I don't, I don't have. I, uh, I was the proud owner of a, of a valve audio predator. And um, I sold that to move to uh, the DVLA um, combination. Um, I know that in, uh, in Gauteng, um, uh, uh, Vaughan um, has bought a, a predator from Skulk and um, he uses it in one of his uh, demo rooms. So, um, you know, I, uh, I think that, you know, if the right piece of equipment comes along, uh, a valve um, amplifier, then, um, you know, I will definitely... Uh, I will definitely get it for um, for demo purposes. It's always nice to know what what components work very well together. I mean, there's a nice yes. syn 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 synergy. Yes. And then um, I've got a turntable as well. So for the um, 
for the, um, the, the vinyl aficionados. I've got a wide variety of, um, of, of, of LPs, everything from Meinich Revere um, all the way through to um, uh, Bon Jovi. So um, the, the NED has, a, has quite a, a good uh, phono stage. And I must say, um, it, sounds, it sounds very good. Fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anything yes, else anybody fine. wants to add? From my side, I can just say thank you very much, Heiner. I think it's been a very good talk. Uh, it's a pity we can't meet in person. Mm, yes, yes. Now, hopefully, uh, hopefully there will be uh, a chance quite soon. And um, as I've, uh, you know, um, uh, told Chris as well, I would love to uh, to bring a, a couple of sets of these um, through. I'm a keen follower of, um, you know, what the High Fight Club does. Unfortunately, I'm here in the far north, and you guys are in the deep south. So um, it's always a little bit difficult um, on a weeknight, um, you know, to uh, to just leave uh, everything in the northern suburbs and then come through to the, uh, the southern suburbs. So, um, you know, if, uh, if we want a little bit of more time, maybe, uh, you know, uh, once lockdown is over, um, you know, we can, uh, we can spend a, a Saturday morning and, um, you know, I can get some snacks and, uh, you know, the Hi-Fi Club can, uh, can come together and we can spend a couple of hours with the various Bentley speakers and I'll bring, you know, everything from the big ones all the way through to the smallest ones. And um, you know uh, we can set them up and chop and change them because that's the great, that's the best way of of uh, I think experiencing it and, and finding out which of the, the speakers are the best. I mean I'm quite keen to do that as well. Yeah, we've had uh, of, uh, we've had said that local. before. They're very successful. Mm. Joshua, you're going to say something? I'm. I'm always impressed by the local boys to be quite honest i've heard the small speakers i must admit i was astounded by the quality so very good very very nice that you've done to achieve these great heights right no, thank you the uh a link to the recording will be put on the forum and uh, you can copy it if you want to afterwards the recording of this first meeting, I mean. Mm. All right. Okay, folks. Thank you very much. Off our state, we've been Bye -bye. a good hour of uh, listening to Hein and he, look at his beautiful stuff. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Hein. Thanks, Hein. Thanks, 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 Thanks very much. Have a good evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.